Hello everybody and welcome back to the speaker guys Today we have a bit of a special video because we're gonna test how the backpack on the Sunbox 3 compares to the strap with the Sunbox Go when you are walking with the speakers a far distance We're gonna test, I'm gonna walk around 2 kilometers, maybe a little bit less or more, it depends but Firstly I'm gonna do it here with the Sunbox 3 and uh, we have the perfect path that I am on right now going around the forest so we have calculated that it is around two kilometers if you go two rounds around this path so we're gonna see if there is a difference in how heavy they are and how I am feeling so I'm gonna update you of course around when I'm walking so you will see how it feels for me because this is probably something that you could be uh, having in real life maybe you're walking with these speakers and you want to know how they feel like to walk with so yeah uh, I'm going to start walk and then you're gonna see I'm gonna update you when I am walking to see yeah how I feel like so I'm going to start walk so yeah soon I will update you and see you soon so yeah now I have walked roughly 100 meters and I am walking in a rather fast speed maybe I think my walking speed is around 6.5 kilometers per hour or maybe it's four miles per hour um, but yeah I also forgot to mention that this path that I am walking for this test is going both it's uphill and downhill so yeah you can see we have the backpack and it weighs with the Samox 3 about 18 kilograms 18 and a half when you have it with the backpack on but you can see yeah so here it was downhill soon I'm going to be walking uphill so now I have walked around 500 meters and it's been mostly downhill but like I said soon it's gonna be a lot of uphill so yeah I am still walking and currently I am not feeling uh, especially tired but a little bit because also in the beginning in the video as you saw I was standing up and that also makes you a bit tired whenever you're standing up with this speaker when you have it on the backpack it's also gonna uh, make you tired in the legs because it's heavy so yeah I think I have this speaker on me for almost 10 minutes because it takes some time in the beginning before we can actually film this video that you are watching but now it's uh, not I'm not that tired I could definitely walk a lot more because the good thing with the backpack is that it is sitting in a good position on your back it's not like heavy on one side it's just a good the weight of the speaker is good loaded on your chest and your back so soon the uphill is gonna start and then yeah I'm gonna tell you more about how I feel throughout this walking with the backpack so I have gone now around one kilometer with this backpack you can see there we have the hill that I have been going up for so now I am back at where I started so it's one kilometer and like I said I have a rather fast uh, walking speed especially now with this backpack and uh, now I am feeling a bit more like now when I am talking to you it's a bit like when I have to breathe a bit more of course because when you're walking with extra weight you will burn more calories so that's good uh, and yeah it's kind of a little bit of a workout but I'm feeling yeah a bit tired in my chest and my legs not really actually mostly I think it's my chest that is feeling a bit tired but I'll continue to walk and update you soon again now I have walked about 1.3 kilometers and it's still like I said last in the last update that it's mostly my chest feeling tired still my legs is fine and yeah so this uh, of course also it depends on how your physical health is that will depend on how 
easy you will find it walking with the speaker uh, yeah but soon I will have completed the two kilometer walk with this Samox 3 and then I'm going to rest a little bit before I do the same test with the Samox Go so now I have walked 1.8 kilometers here you can see this is the part where in the end in each lap that I go like I said I go two laps and it's in the end where I am right now that it is a lot of uphill and in the beginning it's mostly down downhill so I'm soon soon I have walked two kilometers I'm gonna tell you how I have experienced walking with this so yeah I have now walked two kilometers there you can see the sandbox tree in the backpack so after two kilometers right now immediately when I take off the backpack I feel a lot more light and uh, but yeah I feel like I could definitely walk more with it but it was kind of uh, it was a bit taking on my um, physical condition so yeah but that's also like I said it was uphill and I walked in a rather fast speed so now I'm going to sit down rest for some minutes before doing this with the sandbox go and the strap so now I have rested and I have the sandbox go with the strap on me right now on the right side of my shoulder and my neck and I can immediately feel it's a bit heavy to have on but yeah so the first round I walk the first kilometer I will have it on this side then I'm going to shift to the other side and see if this speaker is more heavy and annoying to carry compared to the Sambo 3. So now I'm going to start walking up the queue. See you later. Now I have walked 500 meters with the Sunbox Go and uh, compared to the Sunbox 3, I am not as tired in the chest or in maybe also the legs because this speaker when it's with the strap it weighs about 10 kilograms so the Sunbox 3 is about 9 kilograms heavier and yeah you can see like that and um, but the most annoying part with this is the strap is going around my neck like this so that's why I have I feel like it's a bit annoying here for my neck so I think when you walk long distance with the speaker it would not be good for your neck compared to the Sunbox 3 and also I feel a little bit uh, here it's going up to my um, what is it called yeah beneath my my uh, stomach like it's going against my upper leg as I am holding it like this but yeah I will update you when I have gone one kilometer and then I will shift side on the strap around your neck because I'm sure if you would have walked with this speaker you would also shift it around to make it more comfortable so now I am back at the place where we started that means I have gone one kilometer with the thumb go and I will shift the strap to the other side of my head so yeah now as you can see I have it on the other side now it's not so annoying to walk with it and uh, we're gonna see now how it feels like um, because I actually don't feel that tired but like I said if you walk a long distance it's probably gonna be annoying to have the strap then it's better to have the sandbox tree even though it is more heavy but yeah I will continue to walk and then update you soon 1.5 kilometers and it's not so heavy actually for my chest or my legs compared to how it was with the Sunbox 3 but it is kind of annoying for here my shoulder and my neck it is really killing it but what you can do is you have the handle here you can lift it up a little bit and that will reduce the weight on your shoulder but once again it's gonna be heavy on your arm instead where you're holding it so in the end it's still annoying uh, but yeah but you can still walk quite far but I also feel like I cannot walk as fast with this sandbox go because it's hanging down towards my legs so that's why the sandbox tree is better if you want to have a fast walking speed but soon 
I have gone two kilometers. So now I have walked two kilometers with both the Sunbox 3 and the Sunbox Go. So the Sunbox 3, the most annoying part with it was that my chest, I felt like it was a, quite a workout for me in my chest. Not so much in the legs actually. And the moment I took off the speaker, I felt so much more lightweight, like almost I could fly. But yeah, after all, the Sunbox 3, uh, I could have walked a lot more with it, but I did walk at a quite fast speed and it was uphill and downhill. Now with the Sunbox Go, it was more annoying for my neck, like I said, because the strap gives a lot of pressure on the neck on both sides. I swapped the sides and it still was quite annoying. But the chest, it was fine for me and the legs, not really at all a problem. So it was really good and uh, I would say the best speaker if you want to walk a far distance is overall the Sunbox 3 still because it is quite annoying with the Sunbox Go because of how the strap is. But it was a good length on the strap, it was hanging down. In the beginning we had a bit trouble of finding the perfect length on the strap and also the Sunbox uh, Go the strap made it hanging down to my legs so I couldn't really walk as fast as with the Sunbox 3 so but both speakers are good for their size you can definitely transport them by walking it's really good that Sunbox has made these options for these speakers but that was everything for this video thank you for watching